Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, let's take a journey to 1995, where we're going to play the original Command and Conquer. Oh! I am so excited <clears throat> for this game. Um, this was... This was... This in Warcraft 2 was maybe like the first big game for me and my brother where we just like we really just were into it oh my god I remember um <clears throat> back then back in the early days by the way this is going to be a, an unbelievable nostalgia stream and a conversation stream we're going to be playing through some of the original campaigns Trade Center in which we'll talk about in a moment urban bombing in four weeks blamed on nod terrorists we're going to be the terrorists okay and yeah, the audio's quiet. Remains in close session tonight following not Let's turn you up. We're going to try to max this volume. The the audio balancing's a little off in these games. No, we're just we're we're going <laughs> to We're just going to we're just going to fix the audio later. Yeah, but anyways, this is going to be a big uh nostalgia stream for us. The um in this in this day and age 19 or in 2020 there is a big focus on trying to get everyone to complete the game right you have something like a um god would be a good example in uncharted uncharted is the kind of game that is like a start to finish experience it's like watching back-to-back -back indiana jones movies they did a lot of work to make many of those sequences amazing and so they want you to—they want you to experience. They want you to complete the game. Um, there are games that are challenging. Certainly, Dark Souls is challenging. Hollow Knight is challenging. However, the game is designed to be beaten. It is designed to be beaten. And you might be going, "Well, no shit, Sean. That's the way the games are." Interestingly, no. Interestingly, incorrect. Because in the era of arcade games, which is the first widespread availability of game playing. Because if you think back to, like, you know, even before personal computers and consoles were much of a thing, people basically had, like, a TV, sometimes not, no cell phones, nothing like that. You would go to a location to play the game. This is where the spread of arcades came about, where you would have pinball machines and other such types of games. How would they make money? Anyone can play for a quarter. Anyone can play for a quarter. So back then... The design of games was, we want to make sure you can't beat this. The goal is to ensure that players lose so they can keep feeding in money, so they can keep getting the experience. Many of those games were designed to be deliberately difficult or uh, obnoxious. Very skill-based, but I'm inputting air quotes in that because this was the expectation. So when you had, you know, the widespread adoption of some of these early consoles like the Nintendo, Sega like Genesis, stuff like this, <clears throat> many of the games still had their roots in um, not necessarily being designed to be able to be beaten. Take the original Mario Brothers, right? The original OG Mario. And I believe was the Nintendo, was that a 1989 game? Or a 1989 release? And I think Genesis was 91? Someone, someone will Wikipedia that for me, but... Um, in Super Mario Brothers, I think almost everyone has seen the original Super Mario. They had lives. And when you ran out of lives, it started the game over. Isn't that crazy? An element of the design was making you completely start over. And not as a roguelike, as like the same experience again and again and again. There's tons of games that the whole point of it was that it was incredibly difficult to beat. Um... Why the hell am I going on this long rant about any of this stuff? Oh, you know, it's probably related to Command & Conquer. It's probably related to Command & Conquer, huh? <laughs> so, when, um, when I was first playing the original Command & Conquer, there was this expectation of me as a kid that I would not necessarily get deep into or beat the game. I remember going to a friend's house and I would play the first few missions, I would lose some of those missions and I'd go, damn. Go to another friend's house, who also had Command & Conquer. Try again. Lose a couple times, ah, whatever. And I still remember 
I was really sick, so I stayed home for three days in a row. And by really sick, I mean sick enough for a child not to go to school, but I mean, I probably just like had a stuffy nose, and I was like, Mom, I don't wanna go to school, and she's like, yeah, fuck school, stay home. And I remember going all the way through the GDI campaign, going all the way to the end and beating it, and it was like one of the first games I'd ever actually beaten. Because this game is not really one of those extreme hardcore early platformer, early arcade game style things where it's trying to just eject you back, send you all the way to the beginning. Once you beat a mission, locked progress. Beat another mission, locked progress. Which is totally normal in the year of 2020. But back then I remember beating it and just sort of being like, holy shit, oh my god. And just like finishing a good book, or I guess for this audience, just like finishing a good game, I was like, oh my god, I gotta, I gotta get me more of this. And of course Westwood said, don't worry about it. One year later, 1996, we're going to release Red Alert, where uh, Scottish people play the Russians. Affirmative! <laughs> you can see the highlight video of that from last, uh, from two weeks ago. So I'm so excited to come back and play for this. We're going to play as Nod, we're going to play as Nod, and we're going to be talking so much about all the memories, all the wonderful stuff. I'm I'm just I I'm just I'm just in great spirits. And so with that, I need to give a warm thanks to Sad B for gifting seven in my ramp. It was a loopster. We're subbing for 104 months. Fudge Bunny is gifting subs. Oh man, Goffles B, good morning. Mm, excuse me, happy seven years, Fantax Sane. Good to see you back again. We're not playing Magic today. Mm -mm -mm. Vokasok said, it didn't actually have locked progress. You had to save. Lost a ton of progress in CNC 1, Red Alert 1, because I quit without saving. Oh, huh. I guess I just saved it at the start of every single one. We're going to fire this up. I'm going to turn up the volume. I assume that the, the volume right now is fine. But the problem is the voice acting in the cutscenes is quite a bit quieter, so let's turn it up. The Grain Trade Center in Vienna was the 17th urban bombing in four weeks, blamed on Nod terrorists. The Security Commission remains in close session tonight following Nod terrorist actions in Slovenia. At least your mother tipped well. Harsh, <laughs> unforgiving wilderness. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is, this is the opening cinematic. New Tiberium harvesting methods instituted by the Brotherhood of Nod increase profitability by 49%. Nod Tiberium holdings now account for almost half of the world's known supply, giving the quasi-terrorist group incredible leverage in the London Gold Exchange. On the domestic side... <laughs> Cover of Tiberium ignored reporters at Hong Kong's oh. Second World Tiberium Economic Impact Summit. Mobius is expected to refute charges from the scientific community that Tiberium might be dangerous. Only Ma alone al Oscar. Sperry Financial Network. As the GDI forces take off in another Nod assault, the free world holds its breath. Look at the combining of real world actors with CG. Ah, oh, incroyable. And look at the exact same running animation, copy pasted seven times. Are you picking this up? Deactivate your defense matrix. Alright, now we're going to turn it back down again. So, before I before I step into this, let me actually mute this. Let me actually mute this. Um, media in the 90s was marked by an unusual amount of surrealism, grotesqueness, non sequitur style imagery. Um, if you look back at Nickelodeon, if you look to shows like Ren and Stimpy, 
Um, there was a, a lot of ease of accessibility to um, you know this is like right during a lot of the explosion of types of cable channels because I mean like way back when TVs were released there was like almost nothing but like you started to get this explosion of like ability for lots of different channels to be operating and so there was a lot of demand for content and so there was just this big surge of like really wild out there animation that was there uh, you know Rocco's Modern Life is another great example of that slime slime and gack and things being gross and grody um the idea of, oh yeah, this is great, G. Dirks talks about channel surfing. I mean, nowadays, there's this weirdness of, you kind of got to know what it is that you want to tune into, and there's an incidentalness to browsing um, that's been lost. Like, we used to watch TV and just hit up, 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 and just keep changing channels until it looped back around and then go, go again. So, um, it's funny to, like, step back into this, and you just see flavors of this. If this were done in a modern setting, you would almost certainly have a focused, driven series of news channel flashes, dropping information, transitioning into introducing a character who says grave informational bits, thus propelling you on the start of the story. But here, no, we have the channel surfing. Again, we get to see some flavor of the 90s, flavor of the 90s in there. It's incredible. I just, oh man. Oh, yeah, E.K. Hawkman, memorizing which channels you liked and which one you didn't. Go to 72. I like 72. They have some really interesting movies on there. Yeah, at least your mother tipped well. Smack. I mean, it's incredible. It's just incredible to be stepping back into this. So, here's the thing. Um, difficulty modes in the modern day and age are designed. They're designed in specific ways. So, you know, you might have, you know, the, the XCOM that adds an additional health point to each of the enemies or adds in um, a twist that occurs. In StarCraft, the, a lot of the size of the attacks are very deliberately structured. Maybe there's an additional attack that happens at higher difficulty levels. In these games, as we learned last week, harder, your units are weaker, their units are stronger, done. I mean, they just went number up and down, because in the original game, there were no difficulty levels. I'm actually going to play on normal, because I kind of just want to have the uh, initial experience. And unless anyone contends, I think that we're absolutely going to be going for Nod in this. I also forgot to mention that this was during the era where the F MV, that abbreviation came, the full motion video, where um, I would describe a lot of the technologies that were associated with entertainment as stapling different conceptual pieces together. You have the um, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, the animation just placed directly on top of the FM, or on, on top of the, the, the movie. In this, you have these, like, characters who are going to be doing acting with CG in the background. Tons of this sort of thing. And I mean, like, you also can kind of see the just the blending of trying to bring in that some static coming in and all this good stuff. All right, I got to turn it up again so we can hear Kane. Brotherhood of Nod selected. Selected. So, you're the new addition to the Brotherhood. Well, I'm Seth. Just Seth. From God to Cain to Seth. I am his, I am his right hand. hand. <laughs> and I have a task for you. This is Nakumba, and he is causing the Brotherhood much grief. Man. His views do not coincide with ours, and that makes him dangerous. Silence him. And that's it. There it is. From God to King to Seth. I am his right hand. Oh yeah. All right. Let's t let's turn this puppy back down. All right. And look at this. It actually tells me what I'm trying to do. In order for the Brotherhood to gain a foothold, we must begin by eliminating certain elements. Nakumba, the nearby village's leader, is one such element. His views and ours do not coincide. Oh yeah. Look look look, look at these look at these graphics. I can scroll back. Oh, yeah. Use your... Oh, here it is. Upgrade your tactical interface to high definition using the space bar. 
Oh my god. Dude, these remastered graphics are perfect. Improved fidelity without destroying the spirit of the models. Oh yeah. And this music, oh my god. If I actually go to the jukebox, what are we listening to right now? Oh yeah. Let's see here. We don't want red alert tracks. We do want the remastered tracks. All right, the Tiberian T Dawn tracks, perfect. All right, where is C and C thing? Here we go. Wait, wait, wait. Do we want? Okay. What? Why did it stop? What? Can I not change the music in the game? Are you kidding me? I can't change the music in the game? Now they did add a custom playlist, and for any of you who didn't know, this looks exactly like Winamp. All right, so, uh, wow, look at this. All right, well. You know what, it, all, all the tracks in this game are absolutely baller. Mm. Click it and then click add track. Let's figure this out. So if we get a CNC thing and we add track and then we apply. Oh my God, I get to make my custom playlist. Oh yeah. Are there any of the non-remastered ones? Cause they like added some really stupid voice effects in there. Let me remove all. It's fine. I'm just gonna listen to whatever it wants. Uh oh, here come the GDI forces. Now one of the biggest enemies in this game will be the Pathfinder. There's all these kind of funny idiosyncrasies where like Infantry can actually like cluster together in a pot of five. Look at the vision radius of these things. Now I'm gonna repeat the same story I uh, talked about when we were playing Red Alert. Someone asked uh, Mike Morheim what one of his favorite gameplay innovations that uh, Blizzard did from all the years of Blizzard. And he said fog of war after a long period of thought. I think that's such an interesting comment. Because, yeah, in games like this, what you used to do, uh, like multiplayer games, you'd be you'd just like scout around as quickly as you could and then just see everything. You see my sick micro? Get me out of here. Oh yeah, so, so here's a bit of realism that no modern game welcomes. If you have a weakened unit in this game, it actually moves more slowly. So if I like move these guys this way... <laughs> oh my god, you thought snowballing was bad in StarCraft, man. You have no clue. Oh, it's so funny. Oh yeah, I'm a mechanical man, baby. Your infantry also crouch when they're under fire, and you never, ever, ever want them to crouch. I remember this mission so clearly. So what's gonna happen is we are going to go up here, there's gonna be a village. You can actually see the map is not very big. God. And see, look, I just scout this, and I'll see it forever. Yeah, Archil says, I always had to explore the map before I can complete it. Of course, man, don't do that. So that nonsense about, no, I, I know where the objective is. I'm going to go to it. In Red Alert, they added the uh, destructibility of bridges as, like, a main component to the, the design of everything. Now, here's something interesting. So the guy I need to take out is right up here. However, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to destroy these buildings. I have to be careful because when the building explodes, it can deal damage. Now, inside of these buildings, there's often money. And in these games, the money that you collect on one mission carries over to the next one. Did that well just explode? Absolutely, man. It's a nitroglycerin well, by the way.
So inside buildings are often little, little uh, money caches. Isn't this relaxing? Money carries over? Yeah. I don't know if that's still in here, but I remember as a kid just like learning this in a strategy guide and being like, holy crap. Oh, Merstong, I love the original KKND. With the survivors and the evolved. The survivors went underground during the nuclear apocalypse. And the evolved lived overground. Again, the guy's right here. What difficulty? Normal? Oh, yeah, normal. That just. Oh my god, plus? Plus, the, the plus key is not for speed, it's for changing the music tracks. Yes. There he is. There's the guy. All right, let me just, let me just blow up more buildings. Let me, let, Leo, I'm just gonna sit here. Look at him running around. Oh, look, there's Nick Kumba. He's freaking out. He's losing his mind. Don't you love that there is absolutely no indication of who that person is? You see, right here, this is where the money's gonna be. Alright, it's time to crank up the volume! Oh, yeah. Oh, this remaster! Fuck yeah! You know, I realize that the story, the plot, the what the heck is going on of this game has not even really been explained. So, in, in the story, there is... A meteor hits Earth, and a strange material called Tiberium begins to spread all across the planet. And I believe Africa is the central region where the um, Tiberium lands. Uh, it hits Italy along the Tiber River. That's right, Jester. Thank you. Thank you, Huck. Yeah, the Tiber River. Perfect. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, that's right. The Tiber River. Tiberium. That's the name. Thing of beauty. Well, in that case, I have no idea why we're battling in Africa, but well, I'll figure it out later. The important bit, though, is that Tiberium contains all these precious metals. And so this terrorist organization, the Nod, begins to harvest the Tiberium along with everyone else, but Nod is the first big group that's able to get tons of extra power and influence due to the, you know, the processing of Tiberium. But, as we're going to be learning, Tiberium is also poisonous. So, as your infantry walk across Tiberium, they take damage. As, uh, and in the story, it starts to become this, like, you know, medical issue in the world. Fascinating. Alright, do, uh, am I a top or am I a bottom? <laughs> Ah, yes. Ah, yes, the 90s when we had valuable data such as expendability. <laughs> this is a little bit like the data analysis of my fridge. Oh, God, population. Yeah, I, I didn't realize I'd left that pot with pasta in there for a year. Expendability. Oh, yeah, we're going to absolutely clean all this out. Uh, <laughs> government corruptibility. Perfect. <laughs> Back so soon. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see how you do with something important. For too many years, GDI forces have maintained a stranglehold on Egypt. It's fallen upon us to liberate these citizens crying out for a better way of life. Kane wants to establish a base here to eliminate the smothering presence of GDI. It's too risky to move our heavy forces in, so we want you to sneak in with a few expendable troops and set up a forward attack post. Oh, yes. Uh, by the way, there's more than enough Tiberium for you to harvest. That should easily pay your expenses. If you're detected, you fail. If you fail, you die. If you die, you're dead. Hey, look! Look, it's an image of me playing Command & Conquer Zero Hour. Ah, uh, shit. I actually froze the cutscene. Alright, here we go. Alright. See, we, we, here's the Tiberium. Here's our money. We're going to be going to a smooth yes, 4K. Yes, sir. 
So here's Tiberium. Oh my god, the Tiberium looks beautiful. By the way, there's no attack move in this game. Alright, let's zoom back, move out. We're gonna deploy our mobile construction vehicle. New construction option. Excellent! Building. So, I'd also like to stress something. Is there a pause? Can I pause with this button? No. Construction complete. I hit F9 because I've been playing too much Dota. New construction option. But, um, you'll note that the structure for the original StarCraft was that you had a 4x3 window for the gameplay, because it was built as a 4x3 game. You then had information along the bottom, so the gameplay region actually looked like 16x9. Now, Command & Conquer did the opposite. You had a 4x3 window, and then they went vertical right here. So you can imagine, in 4x3, you actually basically had like a cell phone view of your entire base. <laughs> it's incredible. All right, let's make a refinery. So I want to show everyone this, in case you didn't know. So here's a Tiberium field. This is the resources, and my god, did they do an incredible job of this. You can see that as I'm walking across, my infantry is taking damage. Things like choke point, high ground, and low ground, not a thing. Not a thing in these games. I'm just one big open space boy. Oh yeah, this, this was the real bullshit in this game. Enemies can stutter step with like perfect control. Go up, get out of the way. Get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. Cannot deploy here. Yes, sir. New construction Let's scout out a little bit, huh? Building. Oh, let me actually change something really fast. Options. Uh, resource capacity, always on. If you... Um, ever... Construction complete. Run out of resource capacity... As in these little pips fill up, you can't get more money. Construction options. Oh, yeah. Building. Oh, we get engineers. All right, perfect. Hand of Nod is a barracks. Minimap? Don't get it. Not a thing that you get to have in this game. So it looks like the only thing that we can make is infantry. Building. We shall make it so, then. Unit ready. Building. Unit ready. All right, let's just queue up a billion of these. Building. So... Unit God, ready. there's just there's just too much to talk about. This is so Unit great. Ready. Can't build Building. anything more. Unit okay. ready. Unit ready. Building. All right, so few few things to know Unit right ready. away. All right, guys, let's start scouting. Unit ready. So first of all, Building. there's no mini map Unit unless you build ready. the communication center. None at all. None whatsoever. It's the enemy harvester. Look at that beautiful harvester. You know, I realize I'm just playing, and I'm not talking about enough of the basic stuff. So, in uh, in other strategy games, you tend to have multiple um, workers. You know, StarCraft, you'll have 16 small SCVs mining. In this game, you have one fat mega worker called a harvester. Oh, shit. We gotta build some of these. Building. So you'll notice that I actually have a lot of money. Construction complete. Building. But if my harvester keeps over harvesting, complete. I will not be able to store Unit the money. Ready. So I'm going to build these silos Building. here, and I'm also going to build another refinery so that way I can. Construction complete. Building. Uh, store up money for the next mission. Okay, so. Unit ready. Building. Man, I just, homes. I adore these games so much, man. Oh my god, I just, it's my childhood, man. It's my freaking childhood. I just, oh. Let's, let's just, let's just look a little bit at these things. Look at the, look at just the little turbines going. Look at these power plants that are so beautiful. These silos that just, god, now that, now that the, the, the HD graphics are there, you can actually see it a little better. So you have the, the boiling areas of the Tiberium harvesting going on. Oh. Oh. This is incredible. 
So there's a lot of elements to the design of this sort of game that is very different from the modern strategy game. So when I when I think about creaky cracky crickly crackly, when so first of all, modern strategy games. When you think about things that, um, you know, I'll, I'll I'll talk about what I'll call mass market strategy games. Then I'll talk about true strategy games, as will lead us to the 1995 true strategy, or not 95 true strategy, 1995, whatever the fuck this is called strategy. I, I want to call it puzzle strategy. So let's talk about true strategy games, games like Go and chess. Um, these are games that involve looking many moves ahead, reading out possibilities. Your edge in the game is out thinking through the possibilities. It's out choosing your opponent. We got bats go. Hey, what up, Dwyer? <laughs> Good to see you, man. So if we take something like Go. Uh, go is a game that, like, and this is true for many of these true strategy games. Pure strategy actually kind of feels a little overwhelming, and uh, I I don't really know kind of what's going on. Kind of, I don't know, it's like a little too abstract. It's a little too cerebral. In Go, there's 361 places where you can place your first move. Which one do you do? Well, get this: you actually have to study strategy for some hours to begin to understand. You should only place on the third or fourth line, only in the corners, and this reduces it down considerably to like the tens of choices or the ones of choices. So as people were exploring in digital games, trying to implement a feeling of strateginess, there's many games that try to do the, let's make a chess, let's make a go, let's make this all these sort of big, deep possibilities. And they didn't really stick. It didn't really stick. There's what I'm going to call the mass market strategy game which um, it's much more about these different axes that do very clearly different things because the emotional satisfaction of seeing different shit happen is much more grokkable than the abstract intellectual, oh, I thought 10 moves ahead because I've been studying this game for a long time and I see that he can't do that, so if I place here, it's safe, and so on and so on and so on and so on. So for instance, you have card games. Really great example. My strategy is to draw a lot of cards and then to kill all of his stuff with spells that destroy everything till I get my really powerful thing. Ignore the complexity and the thinking ahead, what we would think of as true strategy in chess and go. If you're drawing a lot of cards, you're going, Ooh, I'm doing something awesome. If you are playing a red deck where you're shooting someone in the face with spells, like, you see that you are dealing damage. You see that he is drawing different cards. And the way that we, in terms of design and players, the way that we describe that is, oh, yeah, he has a draw-focused strategy. I have a damage-focused strategy. Do, do, do you see the subtle shift that happens there? Strategy in the traditional 4,000-year-old, you know, history of go and chess kind of things is about outthinking, outmaneuvering, planning multiple moves ahead, outthinking, outchoosing. In a mass market usage sense, we tend to describe strategy in terms of the perceptual differences. This is a card draw focused strategy. This is a planeswalker focused strategy. And it's important to know a lot of that is very emotional sort of thing. It's very, very kind of touchy feely sense of strategy. And there has actually been, I think, fantastic. Um, improvements and strides made using these multiple different axes in a game, such as, you know, Dota, classic example uh, of, of multi-dimensioned abilities. Oh, this is an ability that reveals hidden units and deals magical damage. This is an ability that kills uh, illusions and regains mana. This is an ability that deals a bunch of physical damage, right? Like, you, you get these different... Um, points of focus, and then all of my choices relate to some of those. I'm going to get armor that stops physical damage. I'm going to get um, a cape to stop magical damage. I'm going to get a cape that gives me invisibility, because they don't have any ability to see invisibility, and so on and so on and so on. Um, 
So you start to get a little bit into the ability for those games to have the deep, cool, multi-layered, multi-step, thinking-ahead, planning, executional strategy of traditional games. You start to get those, but many of the modern games that are really, really, really successful are how do we have all these different axes that have different clear outcomes? Again, the card draw focused versus the um, damage focused or the magical damage focused versus the um, physical damage focused, right? Like, it, it has the depth, but importantly, it has that sort of emotional component. Now, if we come to this, this is one of the very first RTS games to exist, period, Command & Conquer, now that we're playing here. And there was just not axes in the game. Like, if, if I step back into this, technically, there is infantry and uh, armored, as it's called. You know, like actual um, vehicles. But that's it. There's no different damage. There's no, like... Oh, yeah, th th there's a, a subtle different damage in terms of I am better versus infantry or I am better versus vehicles, but that's it. Oh, shit, don't run me over. Alright, my opponent can no longer gain any money. There's not, like, these subtle different regeneration values going on. There's not this, like, um, dramatically different range values being played with. There's not, like, you know, the biological versus armored that you'd get in a StarCraft. There's not, um, it's not even that many units in the game. Unit ready. Alright. Can't fit it anyway. There's just like none of that shit. And and sort of what's funny is that you know, if you say look at a building. If you look at like a StarCraft mission, a lot of the strategy is like, okay, I see that this person has mostly roaches at this base. I'm going to build some immortals because immortals are good against roaches, and I'm going to build maybe some other... <laughs> well, I guess you're Protoss, you're always building immortals. <laughs> Legacy of the Void multiplayer joke. Um, you look at that composition, you try to build a different tool set to battle against that composition, but then when you get into the fight, there's also abilities that are happening. There's an action component. Am I doing a good job of the control and the timing of these abilities? I'm not talking about complex micro where you're like splitting or something. I'm just talking about basic. I will now storm. Bam. And another storm. Bam. Just two button clicks, but still, it's a very kind of engaging thing like that. No abilities. None such of any of this stuff exists in this game. Absolutely none of that exists in Command Conquer. There are no abilities. There are no super deep crazy things going on. And so the way that these kinds of strategy games built their levels was not the sort of rich, diverse experiences that you'd get in a StarCraft II single player. But instead, it was very puzzly. It's very, oh, here's the weak point, and here's how I exploit it. So for instance, in this mission, I'm scouting everything around to build up to the following. The secret to this one is to go out and to kill the Harvester right here, so then they can't build anything. My opponent no longer has any money. Now, you might be going, well, isn't that like harassment in StarCraft? Well, in this game, you actually have to leave your base to go to the Tiberium. And this game, or this mission specifically placed the Tiberium in a vulnerable location. In other games, in other games, I should be, in other um, missions in Command & Conquer, you will have um, protected Tiberium. So that's not the solution. Other such solutions, let me actually show you the most bullshit unit in the entire game. Unit lost. So this is the engineer. Unit lost. Please, please shoot. Unit lost. This is the engineer. This is the most crazy binary unit that has ever existed. All right, my opponent's making the units. This is bad. Get me out of here. Unit lost. So the engineer, in case you didn't know, you just right-click on a building, and it's yours. See the engineers coming in. Look at this. GDI building. I have it now. I have it now. This is mine. So I can take these, and I can sell them. 
And now I get more money. Okay, look look at my money here. Boom! I get another few thousand. Is that not insane to you? You can literally capture the building. Each of these returns 700 per trip. These can contain like 2,000. Oh, by the way, other little small tidbits. Look at this. Can't actually get my units to auto-attack this. I have to deliberately attack it. Alright, so I'm going to get a little bit more money for the next mission. We can speed this game up in a second. Alright, so here's another really common thing to do. Once you've sent the engineers in... Once you've sent the engineers in and you actually get some of these structures captured... You can just build right there in their base. So this is a really common way to kind of start eliminating enemies. You just sort of engineer crawl into their base. You can queue up defensive structures. Capture, build defensive structures in there. There's the last structure. Mission accomplished. What? Okay, th there's there's one guy around. Oh, I found him! Get him! Mission accomplished. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Get him! Oh my god. By the way, this is maybe one of the greatest innovations that happened in RTS design. Stating your objective is to do thing X. And then when you achieve that, it ends. Not destroy 100% of everything. Every single RTS game that had that had this R. Spike up of tension. Oh my god, I've done it. I've won. Now where the hell are these people? Where's the last guy? Oh god. You know, just this. Uh, what you want is a big climax. Oh, I've won. Boom. Game ends. So good. So fucking great. So I I want to I want to talk briefly about this puzzly aspect because um, there's sort of core ideas that live in a lot of modern strategy games. Like in StarCraft II, if you get more stuff, you will eventually win. How do I get more stuff? I take more bases. When is it safe to take more bases? That's the strategy. That's the strategy part. And you can uh, succeed at that by choosing better than your opponent or by microing and controlling better than your opponent, right? There, there's multiple tools that you have at your disposal to succeed at that. Um, and what you might say is, well, isn't that kind of puzzly in, in its nature? It, wouldn't you describe it as a puzzle? to try to take that base. And I want to clarify specifically what I mean by that. Um, and by the way, the, the, I'm just explaining how I use these words because what makes something puzzly, what makes something strategic, like those are super subjective with some anchoring agreement, but still around the edges, there's a lot of like room for interpretation. But here's, here's what I mean when I'm talking about str strategy. Strategy is like the sort of multi-step looking many um, sequences into the future, determining the correct maneuver to do, this sort of thing. A lot of the planning, a lot of the predicting, a lot of the thinking through, that sort of stuff. When I'm talking about the puzzly aspect of these games, as we go through these missions, you're going to see an impenetrable force at the front. I can't get through it. And this it, game really does not function like StarCraft. In StarCraft, you kind of have this exponential growth to the size of your army as the game goes on. Um, you just can't get through it. But if you sneak all the way around to the backside, you can capture their construction yard and sell it. And that's the puzzle. That's how you break through it. 
these missions have tons of this shit where it's like oh my god i can't get through here oh my god i can't get through there oh here's the secret hidden path where the the developers just made it really vulnerable and so what you're looking for is very much so as in the traditional graphic adventure game where i have some inventory items and i have to use this item with that person to get the key to open this door in those games you're just trying to think through what is the puzzle developers trying to get me to solve like in these games uh, in these missions in Command and Conquer, it's like that, man. It's so good. It's so funny as we go on. We're gonna see so many of this. Like, left or right? You know, I went top, and I like top left. Government, military. Kane is going to be pleased to hear how skillfully you've handled yourself. And a word from me to Kane goes a long way in the Brotherhood. I'm a big These deal. walls imprison many friends and members of the Brotherhood. Free them regardless of cost. Overwhelm the prison, but leave it standing. Oh, yeah. Why is he tilted physically? Well, you know, every once in a while when you want to have some gravitas. I think I know this mission. I think I know it well. All right. Use an engineer to capture the prison camp. You got it. So these are recon bikes that move hella fast, man. All right. So these are recon bikes. They can scout really well, and they have a, a missile launcher. And I guess we should just deploy here, huh? Holy fuck. What the shit? Another thing that's kind of markedly funny about these games is just how unbelievably continuous enemies flow to you. Construction complete. New construction option. Building. Alright. So let's just take our... Let's take our machines and go this way. So typically missiles are bad against infantry, but good against vehicles. And machine guns are bad against vehicles, good against infantry. Although, the way that they feel is actually pretty well-rounded against everything. Am I not using keybinds to build? I don't even know I could. Alright, I really hate not having them anymore. Grenadiers, absolutely super overpowered. Yeah, Grenadiers just deal damage to everything well. So let's find out where my little home is. Oh, my god. Of course. I used to build only Grenadiers as GDI, man. Unable to comply. Building in progress. Only build one thing at a time. Building. All right, there it is. Our mini map. Yeah. Okay. So here's what I mean. Puzzly nature. Oh wait, sorry. I thought. Never mind. I thought these were silos. New construction options. Oh, can I still not build vehicles? Okay. All right. So I'm just gonna have these guys follow me along the Tiberian. So I'm definitely going to sweep over to here because I'm pretty sure there's money in these. Building. Let me build a silo because I haven't built anything yet. Construction complete. Cannot deploy here. Ping bong. Rocket soldier. Got your missile launcher right here. Sean Sebo says, "I love the idea that you have to build a structure to trigger your mini map. Yeah, it's like really rich and flavorful." And a terrible idea. Super terrible idea. From like a multiplayer gameplay point of view. So, 
as you can see, I'm, I'm basically scouting around to find out what the heck is happening in this game. Ready. Ready. All right. Ooh, different sound effects on these. Dude, in the original Command & Conquer, this thing that's selected right here used to have the loudest, like, It's like so fucking loud, man. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. It was so loud. Does everyone else remember this? Eclipse Chris is so loud. Yeah, they changed it to a more modest, like, But, I mean, it was just like, And it was like this high, crisp, popping, like, it, like, oh, my God. I mean, like, you, you have heard me talk about how small the vision radius is of infantry. So you'd be walking really slowly, uh, uh, get there, uh, and then all of a sudden, BAM! But these things, change the, change the audio to them, change the audio to them. So clearly here's the enemy base up here. And I bet you if I go this way, it's just gonna be death. Oh. Unit lost. There's the prison. Oh my god, it's a, it's a traditional RTS style mission. Also, in these games, typically um, the enemies grow in power over the course of the game as they collect more stuff. So, like, if you don't act fast, you lose. So, I mean, a lot of times you can just take your initial forces and just, like, walk over and, like, win the game. Building. Unit ready. Ready and wait. Right away, sir. Save me. Unit ready. Building. Unit ready. All right, I'm going to send this guy over here. I'm going to see what's going on over here. Just keep just making a little mix of things. Unit ready. Building. Unit ready. Why am I not sending out a vehicle? I'll send the recon bike. Recon bikes are actually stupid fast. Unit ready. Roger. Yes, sir. Building. Unit ready. There is so much Tiberium in this level. Holy shit. Unit ready. Building. Let's see if we can get him to shoot our infantry in here. Our, our, our mini, mini gunners. Look at how much damage these rocket soldiers do. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Take it out. Oh, yes. Get him. I'm just going to shoot these because I can. Like, literally, I can just go end the game right now. This is another thing that I find markedly hilarious about these games, like... By the way, none of this matters. Look at this. This entire area is a ju it's just a flavor village. But anyways, yeah, in, in these old uh, missions, like, sometimes they just did not anticipate just how much... Uh, let me actually make a structure. Just, just how easy it was. Building. Low power. Construction complete. Yeah, if you ran out of power, you lose the game. Or now you lose the game, you lose the minimap, excuse me. GDI building captured. Primary building selected. Alright, let's build these. Building. There it is. Unit I'm pretty ready. sure there's something in this church, man. Building. Building. Roger. All right, let's just capture these one at a time. GDI building. <laughs> now, another Use thing to note about the functionality Action. of the um, Unit power. GDI one thing building. to note about capture. these um, building. these buildings. Notice how I complete. took the refinery and I sold it. Unit ready. In the AI, if you um, kill that, it will try to rebuild complete. the structure precisely where it was left. Building. Unit ready. But if you physically block where that structure would have been built, New construction it's no problem. Alright, by the way, I did the uh, the usual maneuver, which is to break a hole in the wall and send an engineer. Accomplished. <laughs> uh, trivially easy. It was great. Yeah, but like, if, if they have like a uh, a factory that makes units, if you destroy the factory, they will try to rebuild it on top of the exact location. So you just like leave a unit there and they can't rebuild anything. Should you farm to your Tiberium? I think I had over 7,000, so it's fine. I don't even know what the equation is for like the ending credits carrying over to the next mission. Oh, uh, whoops. Dun, dun. 
Uh, yeah, no, if, if you capture the Tiberium refinery with the harvester in it, you get both. I mean, it's so broken. All right. Do I want to go into Chad? From above or below? Oh, whoops. All right, I forgot to turn it up. I'm sorry. Just, just turn up your computers. GDI is. GDI is evacuating the village of Volham Pajir. Nod command directive. Dum 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 da da dum. Destroy village and terminate Destroy GDI rescue. And terminate GDI rescue operations. Search and destroy residual GDI presence. Oh, I forgot to mention. The, um... In the 90s was when... Um... God, how do I describe this? Like, if you look at the history of a lot of graphic design elements in movies, you'll, you'll learn that tons of those posters were painted and then printed. Or if you look at a lot of intro sequences, that, that was lithography, like actual physical movement and translations of objects. That nowadays, you know, Photoshop is what you use for all that sort of stuff. Um, but in the 90s is when there started to be 3D rendering capabilities. And so there was tons of just like, let's do stuff with 3D. And so, like, if you, as I was looking at that sequence, you know, you see, like, rotating 3D lettering just to, like, show that we can, like, kind of do it and stuff. Also, there were those 3D animation series from Miramax, the Beyond the Mind's Eye. So good. Yes, All right. So, if I hit escape, um, the villagers must be destroyed. Yes, sir. Destroy the Grenadiers, they're the most dangerous object there. The grenadiers have AoE damage, and they're good against infantry, and they explode when they die. Billy Zane says, we already celebrated this once, but I'm not going to turn down Twitch letting me share it again for some reason. Billy Zane, happy 100 month anniversary. So here, here, by the way, is where some of the puzzly aspect kicks in. It's unclear if this game, and this is true on some of the missions, this game sometimes lets you go down two branches and one is wrong. Also, there's a light bit of simulation to some of these shots. So, like, if you're moving, they can miss. Or if you're standing still, they can miss for yes, God sir. knows what reason. So, the, here's the village here. I'm so curious what's up here in the corner. Super Tech, any idea if they can be found online? Yes, you can see all the Beyond the Mind's Eye um, segments broken up on YouTube for free right now. I, I, I watch them with some frequency. Don't squish my shit! Oh, thank God. In this game, uh, vehicles can just run over infantry, which is like the most unfair yes, shit in the universe. What is this area? What even yes, is this? Yes, oh, shit. Oh, please, for God's sake, hit this. Hit it. So this is interesting. There's actually a base here. So I need to hurry up. You're literally killing civilians. I know, I know. But it is the mission objective. We have to, we have to uh, intercept the convoy and destroy it. Yeah. Are we the baddies? We're absolutely the baddies. We're unrepentantly the baddies. Okay. So I think I think it's destroy the village time. You can also deal damage to your own units on accident. Is 
So here's the where the convoy comes from, I think. With StarCraft, the first time an RTS had an attack move, I... Unit lost. Unit lost. Fuck me, man. Alright, I'm only gonna have the rocket people shoot down buildings. I keep accidentally dealing damage to my own guys. By the way, look at all these little flavor bits where we have this, you know, Tiberian here. You know, because again, a lot of towns just start to have a big spread of Tiberian men from the story. I think I take out these guys. Warcraft 2 had attack move? Yes, sir. Did it? Oh, this is bad. But what are we doing? Like, this is the mission. Look at this. Man, what an innovation attack move is, man. I, I, you know, I'm actually curious what you think about attack move as a mechanic. I mean, oh yeah, A is select all units. I forgot about that. <laughs> Space bar is go from basic graphics to HD graphics. God, HD is so good. Anyways. God. Like, if this is the whole mission, this is going to be so funny to me. Look at this. You literally, like, go down and kill some stuff, then you go left and you kill some stuff. Unbelievably badass music for an incredibly bland task. Not narratively. Like, obviously, narratively, we're doing some real shit, man. We're destroying a whole innocent village, damn. Ah! I think we just win the mission when we blow all this stuff up. Let's get the recon bike. All right, what did I miss? Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> what is fucking game? Dun 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 dun. Crank it up! Let me know what up, Seth! From God to Cain to Seth. It's time to go straight into GDI territory this time, huh? Mauritania. Let's go. Bum 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 ba da dum ch dum 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 dum. Before you can truly shape the future, you must first possess the past. If you don't possess Assimilate the past. Assimilate our history, for it is your own. Okay. Kane wants you to view this. Accessing Brotherhood archives. Oh, look at that. Look at that incredible render of Earth. The Brotherhood desires a world of peace, unity, and eternal brotherhood. The Brotherhood springs from the lowest of places, offering unity Clearly. and peace to otherwise neglected and abused nations. Tiberium heralds the dawn of a new age. Money fell out of the sky, literally. This age, harvesting Tiberium to further expand our collective beliefs. Oh! 
This is also continues to confound the scientific community, soaking up ground minerals and soil nutrients like a sponge. The end result of this unique leaching process creates the formation of Tiberium crystals, rich in precious metals and available for collection with a minimum of mining expense. No, they're running over money! I have good news. Compelling stuff. While huh? I was at a top-level briefing with Kane, I, know I Kane, made mention of your accomplishments and efforts. He's somewhat impressed. And he's interested to see how you handle your next assignment. Kane needs Niger, and his personal commander is massing an assault through Algeria. We need to be assured that GDI's HN Warthogs flying out of Lagos do not hinder his progress. Your goal is to set up surface to air missile batteries and destroy the GDI airbase. Got it! You have caught Kane's eye, and he is watching. Do not fail me. You know, I really feel like Kane is the uh, 1995 equivalent of the modern day influencer. Having a good day. How are you, at famous person? Don't forget to like and subscribe. All right. Oh, this song is. You know what? Hold on. I got. I, I gotta get some more coffee. Just enjoy this. Dude, I actually cranked up my volume, unplugged my headphones, and walked to the kitchen and just blasted it. I was like, pouring my coffee, man. I love this soundtrack. It's the best soundtrack ever. Now, as some of you know, my water filter has been here for a week and a half, two weeks now. But because I am someone who always doomsday preps unnecessarily, when we first moved here, I bought many gallons of bottled water so that way we wouldn't have to drink the L.A. tap, which is pretty gross. And uh, just trying to plow through all those waters, you know? I mean, you think L.A. tap water is bad? Well, the water I got right here expires in early 2021, so, you know, it's gonna go bad. May as well hurry up and drink it. Boom Shaka Lux says, why is it so gross? <clears throat> um, I mean, it's, it's water. It's fine. <laughs> but, um, you always want just general filters and shit. Water doesn't expire, Sean? That's a joke I was going for. It seems like I completely failed on the delivery then. Oh, yes, we get a small tank. Come on! Down with the Grenader! Oh, the number of people that say Grenader instead of Grenadier from my childhood. It's just too high. Where do you want me to go? Found it. Found the money. Oh, I remember this mission so clearly. This is the first mission in which you get an airfield. And I can't wait to explain this one. I like, oh my god, truly I cannot wait. Construction complete. So build this way. Building. Yes, sir. Micro! This is the best game ever. Alright. This is going to be the perfect example of this puzzliness. If I am remembering this mission correctly. Construction options. Building. On hold. Cancel. Building. Alright. Yes, sir. No, I, I actually just want to. I want a mini map, man. I like the micro. It's like the new parkour. Parkour. 
Parkour! Parkour! I too have seen the office. Let's scout what's up here. Absolutely nothing, I know, but still. So again, this this is just so antithetical to modern strategy or RTS design. Yes, sir. You you just have a base in the middle of open nowhere. No chokes, no ramps, no nothing. Building. Yes, sir. It's just incredible. Construction complete. Building. I'm like absolutely mouse onlying this. I got my cup of coffee. I got my day nine TV mug. All right, so there's a village up here that you can actually poke at. Yeah, I know this. I know this. I know this mission. I don't know why I would ever want to destroy this village, but I mean, part of me is really feeling like I'm not. I do not like them very much. Okay. All right, get me out of here. So, airstrip. Airstrip is the building that makes our mechanical units, right? That makes our vehicles. But the thing is, as a bit of flavor, because, you know, we're sort of this guerrilla tactics terrorist organization, the Nod. Ah! I don't know if you can see this, but there's actually little tiny animated grenades. They show up a little bit better in the low res. By the way, first of all, what is this guy doing? But yeah, so we have an airstrip. And because we're sort of like a guerrilla force, you know. Building. We don't build the stuff there. We fly it in from an airdrop. Now here's the funny thing. Do you see this plane that's going to come in? Complete. It literally brings Building. the tank and then it drops it off. If you shoot arrived. that plane down on the way in, you don't get the tank. Yes, sir. You bought it, you paid for it. This is like if your Amazon driver crashes, you don't complete. get your package. Building. I mean, it's incredible. All right, so let me let me show the puzzly nature of these missions. So first things first, we're gonna explore. Yes, sir. Let me make a recon bike after this. Building. Reinforcements have arrived. We're gonna need to get a hand of nod soon. Building. So if I go this way, construction insurmountable force here. Right? It's just too much. It's just too much. Construction complete. Yes, sir. Reinforcements have arrived. However, we're gonna we're gonna be following around some of these other scouting angles. You know, that's fine. Wow, does this... Does this go somewhere? Is this... Huh. What the fuck? Oh! Unit lost. New construction options. Building. On hold. Alright, I, I forgot to mention something. The, uh... In these games... One of the very early things that this game had, that even still does not really exist, is the idea of strikes. See, here, here's the puzzle. You just pierce in from the back. You take control of everything, huh? Alright, let's make some. Building. On hold. Cancel. Alright, so. Oh shit, I shot the harvester. Uh oh, Building. I poked the bear. To build some engineers here. Get me out of here. I am not losing this fight, no sir. Alright, let's just keep making light tanks, man. I need more money, man. Ever play CNC Renegade? Oh man. Our base is under attack. I don't think I ever did. Now, there's another path over here that I haven't explored. I'm just going to keep making light tanks because they're just very good. Get me out of here. Yes, sir. On hold. Cancelled. All right, what's up here? Ooh, money, 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 money. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, s
great. Poor pathfinding, gonna be my victory. Alright, I mean, I'm looking at the mini map. I, I feel like I'm good. Yeah, squished! <laughs> yeah. Not a lot of downtime, just like a lot of stuff going on at all points. Huh? Another little sneaky angle. Alright guys, get on up there. Let's go ahead and have a uh Uh oh, they're, they're starting to overrun us, this is bad news. You know, let's just keep making some things. Holy Lost. shit. Alright, quickly, run this way. Oh, fuck. I think I made too many engineers. Oh, shit. Construction right, complete. Building. Unit ready. Reinforcements have arrived. All right, so I, I know a little bit about how this AI works. Okay, let me actually... I'm going to turn this game speed down a little bit. So that way I can talk a little at this moment. I mean, I just love this. Take control of this. Take control of the construction yard. Because we pre-built the... Building. Oh, we didn't pre-built anything. Oh, shit. All right, let's just build it right here. Uh-oh. All right, so now now we're wealthy. Now we're gonna make some construction tank, tank, complete. Tank, tank, tank. Building. Yeah. Okay. 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 Just wait away, sir. Primary building. Selected. This is how you beat every single mission. Building. Moving out. Reporting. Right. And let me just make sure this is. Use Sam to defend your base, then seek. Oh, that's right, because they have drops in this one. But they won't. Unit ready. In a right away, moment. Sir. Building. Construction complete. GDI building captured. All right, you want to see some bullshit right here? Want to see some bullshit right here? Are you ready? Building. Oh shit! See how this guy's loaded up? Ah, perfect. GDI is all mine. Captured. Our base is under attack. Unit ready. I mean, this is just so complete. fucking funny. Building. Oh god, I should probably defend myself, huh? All right, let's keep building tanks. All right, see, look, 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 this is how you make money. You don't make money by getting money. That that would be too easy. You make money by capturing. I mean, it's just so disproportionately good. This is, yeah, the harvester? Yes, yeah, is my harvester. Let's get to work. Turn the fuck around. You know what? It's not safe here. So if I, over complete. here, start making rocket Building. soldiers. Let me make some flame, flame guys, too. That's pretty fun. Reinforcements have arrived. All right, I, I can speed Unit this up here. I just ready. wanted to... I just Building. need a brief moment. I need a moment of reprieve. Unit. I mean, you know I'm a 300 APM pro, but not Building. when I'm constantly holding my coffee cup. Unit. You know what I'm saying? Ready. I'm not going Building. Construction oh, complete. yeah, that's right. There, there were particular Unit. angles Lost. you could get at where these things could Unit. outrange the towers. Ready. And it was always a straight line up one. Have arrived. Okay, let's see. Here. Complete. All right, so he here's some more idiosyncrasies. So. Have oh come on, guys, just just run down. Yeah, get him. Okay, so as you can see, there are. Is this a rocket guy? Yeah. As you can see, the um. Oh, this is a flamethrower guy. Let me find out where my rocketeers are. Yeah. Roger. So the way that range works, you can see that there's actually secretly a tile system sort of underneath everything. And typically, if you stand... Damn. Unit lost. I'm actually make a bunch of rocket soldiers. Building. I can't explain this very well unless I actually have five. Building. So there's secretly a tile Ready. system. And the way the range works Unit. is it's not Ready. like a, a, a circle as it Building. would be in, in StarCraft. Unit. It's Ready. like you have some range Unit. that it then Ready. interprets to be proportional to some location on the tile grid. So this, if I shoot this here and I stand here, 
this guy can actually get shot if he gets a little too close. But on the diagonals, one up, you can kind of hit it. But you can see, I actually had to get five clustered together. Holy shit. Holy fuck. Oh my god. Oh my god. Quickly, capture that. Get in there. GDI building captured. Fuck you. New construction options. Building. So there's all this like weird position, like Unit ready. if it has a range of six Building. tiles, instead of standing here, you stand one off, like just off at diagonals, give you these like huge opportunities to shoot stuff Unit that can't lost. shoot you back. Also, time to go flamethrower, guys. Dude, they just own infantry so hard. All the counters were so hard. We should make some engineers and build and sell them. Unit we should probably lost. make one of these. I think it was a mission objective. Building. Unit lost. Unit ready. Building. GDI building captured. Our base is under attack. Structure solid. Unit ready. Oh, this is so good. This is so building. unfair. This is, I mean, this is why I plan to do today. Insufficient. 160, are these 200? How much are these? 200? Oh yeah. Dude, look at how much they own infantry. I love these flame guys. Oh yeah. New construction options. Our base is under attack. Yes, sir. Alright. Let's get some money. Structure sold. Structure Alright, I'm not gonna have the most money, but it's fine. Oh, did I have to build one of these to win? Mission <laughs> I like killed everything and I'm like, I did I'm not what? Oh, that's right. That was the first thing they asked me to do. Yeah, this this game actually has three different types of strikes. There is the... Um, GDI has two. They have a bombing raid where they fly over and drop bombs and blow stuff up. Um, they have an ion cannon which blows up a particular point. And then they have a nuke which destroys everything. That's what Nod gets. Great shot. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Let's go. Dun -dun -dun -dun. You're plowing through these missions, man. Uh-oh, it's it's looking like... Oh, it looks like Africa's getting taken over by Gryffindor. Um, yeah, I guess I'm always... I'm gonna always go top, always go left, you know what I mean? Let me just turn this up. It's cutscene time. I was starting to trust you. But now Kane has asked for your services specifically. Uh-oh. He thinks you can handle this. Influencer battles. GDI has imported a nuclear detonator, and Kane's intelligence shows it hasn't even been unpacked yet. Since you seem so brilliant, sneak into the GDI base with a small task force, find the crate, and get out, if you can. And if you're <laughs> lucky, I'll have a helicopter waiting for you. And if you're unlucky, I'll have a helicopter crashing into you. Like, have you heard a bad track yet today? Because I sure haven't. Alright, uh... Oh, this is bad news. Steal the detonator. Ah! Quickly, flame. Flame, men. No, stand up! Yeah! All right, so we need, we need to steal the detonator. Why put parachutes on your bombs? I actually don't know. I don't know a lot about bombs. In fact, I pretty much play games and think about games and entertainment. And that's my life. <laughs> Flamio, my hot man. All right. 
Uh oh. Alright, audio should be fixed. Alright, so I kind of want to have this recon bike out. Holy fuck! You gotta be really careful with the flame throwy folks. Because they can just easily cook each other. Friendly fire does exist for the flamethrower folks. So, like two or three at a time is good. More than that, bad. Now, is that balanced? No. Is that fun? No, also, but it's in the game and it's hilarious. Please. Pretty good. <laughs> oh, it's so great. You know what? I know how to solve this problem. Yes, sir. Unit reporting. Waiting for moving out. Yes, moving out. You don't remember those bike things? Eyes or recon bikes. Recan reconnaissance. For scouting and reconnaissance. Okay, quickly, go down. Got him. Yes, sir. Look how hard it is for anything except my flamios to roast this. God, the rocket guys just, they slap, man. Alright, let's get my hot men in there. Yeah, rock, rocket soldiers, they do not have a lot of HPs. It's also really funny to think about the way that economy functions in the Command and Conquer games, the early ones, compared to StarCraft. Again. Oh my fucking god! Okay, remember earlier when I was talking about being surprised? At the very scary, very loud noises? As you waltzed straight into some gun turret things? Alright, I think I'm out of troopy doops. It was mind blowing in 95 that the trees could burn. Oh yeah, dude. Is this is this the solution? Just ignore this guy. Can we just make sure I see the mission? Penetrate the base and steal the detonator. Chopper will be sent to meet you at the landing zone. Look for the landing player once we've stolen the device. Okay. I think I just send anybody there. See, see what I mean by puzzly nature? You just like, oh, there's the front of the base. Do you want to kill it? Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Fuck, fuck, fuck. All right, I have one. I have one hot man left. All right, it's time to. There's show and tell, and then there's squish and tell. All right, I think that this is maybe how we're going to have to do this. Oh, shit. Moving out. Shit. Oh, my God. There's the there's the detonator right there. Oh, shit. Do I have one rocketeer here? So I, I, I want to stand on top of this. I want to pick this up. God, I lost so many dudes here. Cause I, I had my, I had my uh, flamethrower guys. This seems dicey as fuck, man. Unit lost. Oh my god. 
Alright, I'm actually curious what's over here. You have the rest of my dudes over here. Is it nothing? See, look, look! He's literally inside of the fog of war! So it should be, like, right here. I should be able to shoot him. Shit. Okay, so this is the spot, but... I think that it's not placing him on the tile close enough. So I'm going to get a troop of five here, and I'm going to click right here. There it is. See, I got I got him on the on the front leftmost tile. Perfect. Perfect. This is gameplay. What do I want a uh, detonator? Uh, by the way, it's pronounced uh, detonator. You know the sandbag cheese too? I know all the cheeses of Pups Chris. Alright, it's getting repaired. Nothing I can do about it now. See, this is how all these missions always went for me as a kid, and clearly now as an adult as well. So I think I'm going to need to destroy these two things. So let me, let's get a tank up there. We will eventually run him out of money, you know. We don't want to shoot any of the buildings, because then we'll go ham. So what I'm probably going to need to do... Yeah, I think the exit is down here. You know, I'm going to put my tank down here. The, the vision radius is not just... Just not very far. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh shit, there's another one right there. Yes, sir. Open up. Open up. See, there's these weird angles you can yes, get it. See where, like, you can shoot and it can't shoot back. See, I, I, I don't even understand. Yes, sir. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Yeah, yeah, sometimes the units just miss. They just were trying, they were having an off day, and they missed. Alright, this is this is the content I know you came here for. Oh shit. Oh, okay, so this actually can hit at the max range. Nice. All right, all right. So this is what I mean. I gotta like place a thing like right on top of that. I also don't know how I'm actually gonna defeat these forces in here. This is content. I think it'll hit me. Yeah. What about here? This it shouldn't be able to hit me, and I should be able to shoot it. Yeah. Yeah, dude, let me tell you, these are five-year-old tactics right now. Alejandro! Si some, 100 bases. Thanks so much for making fun, educational. Inspiring streams, Sean. Helped me through long nights of work and pushed me to stream as well. So thanks for all that love from Arden. Alejandro. Pleasure to see someone from so far down south. Jo Holy fuck! Holy shit! I forgot to cover up the spot. Get out of the range. So I need to, I need to get them. Oh yeah, that, that was it. There we go. <sighs> Thanks so much, Alejandro, for joining us. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna need to sit an engineer right on top of that. Maybe I can eventually run this guy out of fucking money now. 
See, there's like really, because you saw that it acquired the, the tank here, and when I moved to here, it could still shoot at it, but if I exit the tile and return to the tile, it doesn't acquire. Are you making any progress here? It's unclear, Sean Sebo, it's unclear. Now, the biggest reason why we are, like, really close to dead is we were doing an okay job keeping our units alive, but we walked this way, not knowing that this was here. This has a longer firing range than most of our infantry have vision range. So what happened was that the turret shot my flamethrower guys blowing up all of my other dudes. That's what you said when you were looking for a puzzle game? Ask surprise? Oh, you know it is. This is, this is going to be the next three-hour mission. I really need this rocket guy to stay alive. Okay, so, it's, so this is on the tile now. It's a little hard to tell, but it's right there. So then if I move here, this should be able to shoot that. Your fight hunter says, huh, I don't think I ever realized flamethrower guys dying did AoE. This is kind of why infantry sucks. Oh shit, we are completely fucked. This mission is horrible. I don't actually understand why we need this fucking mission. I think we actually are fucked. Man, these 90s games fucking hate the player like a lot. I really don't like the player of the game. You know, I have an idea. I have I have a little idea here. I also don't know if our enemy is mining Tiberium. I don't know. Just here says this mission is a diege diegetically a mission that you're supposed to fail. That is true. Seth was just like, if you're lucky, there'll be a plane waiting for you. Duh. Oh my god, the grumbler. Yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe I just shoot this from above. Okay, I think I think maybe we I think we're maybe doing it wrong here. Fuck out of there. Come on, crouch, crouch the fuck. I wanna take no damage. No! Ah! Okay. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to options. We're going to buff this to faster. Anyone know if there's a hotkey for um, unit movement? This thing just keeps rebuilding, man. We will rebuild. I'm going to keep one tank here. So let's see what happens when I shoot this. All right, they start coming. What else if I shoot this? Nothing else goes. Good, 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 good. This is how we do it. This is how we win. Eat shit, 1995. Fucking day nines in town. This is fucking bullshit, man. Get back here. Yes! Jesus Christ. Oh my god! No, 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 I'm gonna do this. Yes, sir. This is this is how we this is how we win. This is how we win. Oh my god. Oh, for God's sake, just shoot, shoot the guy. Okay, let's see if we can get them to not 
Fuck, fuck, no, oh shit, I was trying to get him to run over. I can't actually kill this fast enough. Alright, we gotta restart this mission. Damn it. Well, now that I know, now that I know the solution to the puzzle. Now that I know the solution to the puzzle. Ah. <sighs> Doing more damage to my own shit than to the enemies. Affirmative. Moving out. Waiting orders. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Yes, sir. We got it. No, we got it. Right away, sir. Reporting. Reporting. Affirmative. Reporting. Right away, sir. No. Shit. Yes, sir. No. Vehicle reporting. Unit lost. Alright. Alright. My mic has gone shit, but I don't care. Because I know the solution now. Yes, sir. Reporting. Moving out. Right away, sir. Right away, sir. Ay, 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 ay. Oh shit. I gotta stop putting my own guys. I see I see the whole puzzle. Oh please for the love of god. I'm gonna lose the tank here on us. Alright, I'm being disorganized because I'm trying to be hasty. I'm being hasty and it's making me hasty. Alright, this is we just gotta take our time. We're just gonna take our time. Yes, right away, sir. Moving out. Right. Yes, sir. Knowledge. Moving out. So, this is kind of why safe scumming is a thing. Affirmative. 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 Moving out. Yes, sir. Affirmative. Moving out. Affirmative. Steal the detonator. Got yes, it. Moving out. Ah. Moving out. Affirmative. Affirmative. Great. Yes, moving out. Affirmative. Minimizing damage. Moving out. Knowledge. Yes, moving out. Yes, sir. Moving out. Moving out. Technology. Affirmative. Moving out. Technology. Shit. Moving out. Fuck. Technology. Shit. Fuck. Okay, we're okay. Moving out. Yes. Technology. Moving out. Very, very, very carefully. Yes. Alright, here's the anti-tank things on the right. Moving out. Morning. Okay. That's okay. That's okay. We lost a recon bike, but the recon bike sucks. Watch me. Watch me. Okay. Now, I am going to be a nice scouty boy. We're going to cover bases. Now, there should be, like, Humvee and some infantry around the left. This is one of the least important units for me. It's good for scouting. It's good against infantry. Has reasonable range. We see a guy behind the tree there. We're just gonna get the visions. No mini map. Nothing at all. Man, I remember some of those StarCraft single player missions. Yes, yes for you. Micro. Got him. These little yes, guys sir. are incredible against infantry. Yeah. Yes, All right, we're scouting it out, and you know what? I've solved it. I've solved this. Fuck. Come on, guys. Do you see the extraordinary unit conservation I achieved by literally not engaging with half my shit? Please, please, don't! No, not the flamethrower, guys! No! Alright, whatever. Flamethrower, guys, it's just a fucking liability, man. Alright. Alright, let's go ahead. Alright, so... Good. I like that little... Alright, alright, we got my flamios. Alright, come on. Oh, there's a guy there. I forgot that. Move 
this one because the turret's shots we miss. Okay, so here's here's how we're gonna beat this, okay? I was I was saving, I was saving the strategy. Oh for God's sake, go! Go, go to him! Now I will I will sacrifice one just to show you what I was talking about earlier. Remember the surprise? Remember the surprise? See, we actually have some pretty good vision range here. Oh shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, remember now imagine I'm just looking around. La la la. Boom, do you see it just pop out? From the shadows they come. Alright, I'm gonna get my greenest health guy. To try to run these things over. Remember, green guys move fastest. Let me get my long ranger danger guys all the way up here. Okay, so I got the strats. Okay, you ready for the strats? The strat is going to be destroy the construction yard, destroy the barracks, destroy the factory, kill the rim of things. Now, units are going to be coming here, and I now understand why the game gave me flamios. Look at the look at the beauty. Look at the elegant, <laughs> the up and down of the native light tank. Oh, hold on. There's two. There's two grenade domers down here. Dijun says, kill the top box before you rebuild it, storm into the center of the base. You're trying to think of things in an action and timing based way, Dijun. You are failing to think of things as a ill veiled puzzle game. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. Here's how it's going to work. You see, D-Doom, I don't need to kill the top turret and do anything fast. I destroy the construction yard with my long range units, thereby negating the ability for my opponent to remake anything at all. And I gotta be careful because here comes everything. I have my hot man right here. I'm spread out for the grenade guys. See, they should be on a move. Holy fuck. Alright, whatever. Fuck this shit. Alright, kill this. We have to kill this. This will pound out units if we're not careful. Holy shit! Oh fuck! Why did I leave these guys here? Shit. Fuck, does anyone beat this game? We gotta finish this off. Apparently splash damage is a thing now, who knew? Okay. Okay. Go this way. This way. Just go. Got it. Got to go. Yes. This is it. This is how we win. I'm gonna fucking win. You can't stop me. Oh, okay. Alright. All is not lost, but all's pretty fucked. I love how, again, how intense this music is. Next to how pathetic my behavior in these missions has become. I got. I gotta destroy everything that can make units first. See, I don't think I want to actually kill any other buildings. I think it's dangerous, because when you kill buildings, dudes yes, pop out of them. Yes. Yes, sir. Please kill them. Oh my god, please, please, please. Yes! Sir. yes. Okay, hi, Sheriff. Hi, sweetheart. Dad is busy as shit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
the engineers then I assume so I can um, yes, capture some buildings and build some stuff it's so, like right here is where the targeting line is right here on this patch what's the objective it's crazy to think that there even is one I'll guess. but we have to we have to step on this oh why, why are you it's so scary to right click. Why is it just keep missing and hitting this? So this is a really weird bug in this game, where sometimes when you're trying to shoot at something, it, the bullet will get like acquired by something else. Please, nothing, please, nothing, nothing, nothing. Please don't, nothing needs to pop out. Yes, yes fuck yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yes. So I'm not going to have this tank shoot at this wall, because the tanks can damage each other. What if I do like this? Alright. Okay. You fucking idiots. Okay, we're only moving one of these at a time from here on out. Oh my, go left. He's like, I heard down. All right, we are going to do this. We are beating this mission. This is my white whale right here. Shit, there's one unit there. Here's how we're going to do it. Yeah, yeah. Th this happens sometimes. When you shoot a unit, it does not acquire you as a target. It just sits there. Got the detonator. Yes, oh, Jesus Moving Christ. Out. Moving out. So I just need to move any unit to that yes, location. Okay. Oh my god. They did. They yes, did sir. that. Yes, sir. Moving out. No, you fucking idiot. Don't shoot at the thing that always ignites the aggression of everything the enemy has. Yes, Just right here. Yes, sir. I'm not going to save. I don't need to save. I'm not doing it. I'm not going to save. No coward. I'm no coward. I'm not going to save. I'm not going to do it. I shot the harvester. It's all over, no matter what. I'm not doing it. I'm too powerful. Too powerful. Who do you think I am? Hope you'll enjoy my new web series. It's called Let's Learn Command and Conquer. Okay, let's send in the let's send the weaker one over. Too powerful. I can't believe nothing happened. I can't believe nothing happened. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I, believe it. I am. Have arrived. Oh my god. Get in. Yeah.
Mission accomplished. So you wanted me to save. You wanted me to save. Pathetic. Pathetic. You know what? Let's get some static. There. 100% efficiency. That's the sort of stats that we need, man. Ah. <sighs> From God to Cain to Seth to Day Nine, I am His right hand's right hand. Mmm. Now to do a blindfolded. That's right. R. Wood says I came in late. Why were we relying on those two tanks the whole time? Because I am a boss, R.R. Woods. Because everyone doubted me. There wasn't a single soul in chat that said, You can do this, Day9. All the haters are eating their words big time. Big, 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 big. That's why we were rocking out with two tanks. Did you see all the saves? Do you know that we have an emote that is a floppy disk instructing you to save? Most people here don't even know what a floppy disk is. But I'm not even going to obey my own emotes. That's right. Oh! He does says all the subs in Day9's chat are haters. That's right. Some haters have been supporting this channel for years. <laughs> Mini Wolf, 50 months, halfway to 100. Says, awesome to be back, love the hair. Thank you. Ten points for Gryffindor. Yeah, alt right click is squish move, but I don't like using it as much as I like moving behind. It does have some issues. Well, do I want to do this, this, or this? You know, one of my favorite things are options with no context. If you went, Sean, A, B, or C, go, hmm, A, and they're like, bad choice. What the fuck? You, you didn't tell me anything, you know? All right, let's turn it up. Cutscene time. Well, there's no stopping you, is there? Speaking of haters... Now Kane wants you to destroy this village. It's the last front standing between him and his Tiberium operations. There are some civilians there, but they're sick and dying, so you should be able to handle them quite easily. And don't worry about any GDI forces. Intelligence tells me there are just a few scientists lurking about. Seth is lying. <laughs> There's the forces, they're coming in! Stop day nine! Oh. I'm not gonna turn down too much lower, this is a good mission. Sick and dying in Gabon. Alright. Oh shit, it's another mission? Where I have two engineers. Yes, sir. Moving out. Moving out. Ready and Don't you guys know yes, that when I used to play the yes, original sir. Command and Conquer on DOS, there was a special command that you could type in that would load secret dinosaur missions. And you had to have you had to beat dinosaurs, and there were like Tyrannosaurus Rexes and shit. Alright, by the way, tip. The Flamios only ever have one to do a thing at a time. Yeah. Limit the amount that are actually involved in this. Never knew the code, feel like I missed out. Yes, sir. I love that this is how the game designers chose to represent civilians. This is you and me. Alright. Nice job, hot man. Is this just War Crimes the mission? Uh, the Grumbler, this is actually War Crimes the campaign. I remember feeling like such a stud when I was a kid, and I used to just right-click the one behind, and Flamio would just roast everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're not. Not a problem. Yeah, look at this. Look at this pure efficiency. This is pur I'm, Purge would tune in right now and well up. Tears streaming down his eyes. He finally is doing something that's efficient. 
Yeah, look at these poor... These are these poor countries that people have tried to exert their influence on for generations, and I'm here to liberate the shit out of them. Pretty big map, huh? Alright, so clearly what Seth is trying to do. Clearly. Seth is trying to get Big Boss Day 9 to make you mistake you. Super Tactical Urban Dino? I have, I have um, seen some satisfactory. I was watching Soren play it for a while. And, I, I mean, I... This is not me being a Factorio purist. This is me being a little bit of like a... I'm almost exclusively a 2D game player. I think this is perhaps the most common trait of the games I play. I really like 2D games. 2D puzzles, things like that. Like, third dimension is uh, no Peroni and the Pepperoni from, from my side. Alright, my tanks are my, mo my most robust units, so I'm just going to one at a time move out. But I'm curious about, like, um, Satisfactory's difference. Uh-oh. I'm curious about the difference between uh, Satisfactory and Factorial. This is bad? Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is bad. Alright, I, I need to be careful with the hot man. Can I just, like, not beat the mission now? Oh, shit balls, man. Uh, you know the drill. Thanks in the front. If I can get one in the bottom left corner of this group. Alright, like that. Okay, maybe let's go here and then let's go back. Does that get one in the bottom left? Okay, let's go here. Move this guy here and then maybe move like that. Oh shit, it fucking is shooting all of them now? What the fuck? This is getting such a, such a pain. I have I have no engineers. I think I think I actually like legitimately lost this game. GIA hospitals. Oh yeah, here's here's the solution. Here it is. We gotta sneak all the way around here. All right, hold on. We're, we're gonna scout. What? Our base is under attack. What the fuck? Low power. What the fuck? Lost. Unit lost. Repairing. What the shit in the hell? Oh my god, I got a base. Okay, um, command center or comm center. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh god. See, this is th this is these games, man. They're just like surprise. Surprise didn't know about that at all, did you? Insufficient funds.
Ah, uh, fuck. Holy shit, we are actually in trouble. How much is this? Thousand? On hold. Cancel. Building. Please stop. Unit lost. Okay. Construction complete. Look at look at the distance. Who would ever build a base here? Rocket soldiers, please. Building. Unit yeah. ready. Building. Reinforcements have arrived. Oh, thank God, Jesus. Unit ready. It's a bunch of engineers I'm gonna throw up. Okay. Our base is under attack. That's fine. Shoot that. Oh, you guys weren't attacking. Oh shit. Alright, so first thing is first. I really want to get 2,000. This is 2,000. Building. I'm going to build another one of these harvesters because I really need... Oh, Jesus Christ. I need to... Okay, so here's these. Here's my hot man. So I, I really need more income because, I mean, this distance is just not going to cut it. This is just not going to cut it. I mean, it's 2,000 to build an airstrip, and there's 1,400 to the harvester. Funds. I know there's insufficient funds, you asshole. Okay, so it looks like we don't have any of our defensive structures yet. Turrets for this um, faction are just broken good. So we're scouting with our, with our baby guy. Oh god, I'm getting some real indigestion here, man. I gotta. I'm gonna need to take take you a little breaky in a sec. Here. Oh my god, but not before this mission is done. Fucking base is under attack. Holy shit! Repair. Oh my god! Fuck! Oh my god. Oh my god, why do I not have a mini-map? Is there any way out of this? Alright. Oh my god, I have demoralizing to have units that explode on death. There's a fucking little path back here, huh? There's a little path. Well, that's okay. This is, this is more than enough. Alright, I gotta zoom out enough to be able to defend against this shit. Do I have no more hot men? Right, let's make some of those. This is infantry only. We got this. I'm not gonna get thwarted by this bullshit now. Unit ready. Unit ready. Building. All right. This is some serious mouse only mode. Unit ready. So I think maybe the way that we can try to win this mission. Maybe the way that we can win this mission is just by picking off their miner, their uh, harvester, excuse me, their their collector truck, and with just this, we're gonna be good. Unit ready. I mean, they only got one. What the fuck? Is there another? Is there a whole base up here? Holy shit. Get the fuck. You know what? Building. Unit Let's get the hot men in the front. Unit ready. Where's my... Building. Go up here. Unit lost. Unit ready. This is going to require precision, micro, and skill. Because, I mean, like, these guys just get owned so hard. Yes, sir. No. Okay, let's get some hot men on this. On hold. Canceled. Building. Okay, it's just this guy? Good. Good, 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 good. Yes, sir. 
Just go return this home, huh? There's a whole fucking base up here. I'm gonna absolutely throw up. I think, I think it's just Tiberium. I think this is it. I think this is it. I think this is a whole base. Are you serious? I, I, I gave you a direct order. I cannot believe that there was this little sneaky nonsense path. But that's okay. Like, you can clearly see that if I, ju if I just have some, some nerves in various lyrications, is this it? Is this is this the is this the choke? Oh shit! All right, so we, we actually do not want to have this too far forward. Unit lost. Oh my fucking god! That was an airstrike. It just dropped bombs on all my stuff. Okay. These are the rocket guys. On hold. Cancelled. Alright, we're, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. Alright, let me actually for the first time use control groups. Here's control group one. I kinda need to spread these guys out. See, he's running out of money fast here. I have a lot more money here and a lot of money here. I mean, I'm gonna be mining as slow as hell, but I mean, that's the name of the game. You, know? you, don't, you don't play Command and Conquer if you want to build things quickly. Unit ready. Building. So I think I, I, I put these at the point here. Alright, we got some more hot men here. Let's make these guys three. Let's make these guys three. So we need to engage at max range because then... He'll stop moving. Please, just shoot. Just stop repositioning yourselves. When rocket guys get killed, they just, they just die. They don't explode. That's fine. Unit ready. Building. Right away, sir. Right away, sir. Out. On yes, hold. Sir. I also want to spread Cancel. these guys out while I'm sitting idly because yes, the uh, the drops are really, really bad for us. All right. So I mean, I actually think that we're we're approaching a winnable game. I almost restarted, but that's a coward's way out. Building. See, now, this is the first time that I feel like I'm playing a strategy game. Oh, God, the, the HUD. The HUD is covering my ability to move somewhere. Oh, look at this! Look at the, the sheer design and engineering. Oh, yeah. So my opponent will soon enough be mining from there. So I can, like, run forward. I can place some Flamio hot men there. This guy's so dead. Building. The thing that could potentially screw us over. Let me actually repair. Repairing. Thank God there's no other bases here. It's just this base. Oh, I hate infantry in this game, but I'm going to learn to love them. Here's my hot man. Let's, let's put let's put a second and a second layer of hot men down here. Building. I now take back everything bad I've ever said about infantry. Okay, APC, that's not good. Holy shit, it's just a fucking tank guy. Unit lost. Insufficient funds. Okay, I got Pull this back. Let's see. You guys are two. Oh, what the fuck? Yeah, control click, I forgot, was attack ground. Shoot it! Shit, 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 fuck, shit, fuck, that's okay. 
Unit. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. Building. Can you believe that? Can you believe the grenaders? Ah! Unit ready. Okay. That is some brutal shit, man. That's some real brutal shit. Building. Oh my god, my opponent was trying to like smash me with some engineers. Okay, so here are. Unit ready. Are these all the upper hot men? Okay, so these are the T's. Okay, so I need to replenish on rocket folk. Because soon enough, the uh, the guy's going to be moving up to this side. I'm going to keep on scouting. God, the infantry really suck a lot of ass in this game. Alright, so here here's my control group 3. I lost one of them, but that's okay. That's okay. Here's control group 2. Building. I'm just going to queue this up like crazy. Yep, there it is. I think I'm going to need like eight or nine to be able to take this out swiftly. But once I've done that, like you can already see that my opponent has kind of slowed down. I mean, there was that stupid APC. I should have known. I should have known that was coming, man. I think I got to let this one resolve. I got to let this one resolve. What am I, am I playing magic? Building. Now, the real danger is that there are... Ready. Building. Oh, please don't shoot the ground. Alright, so I'm going to move these guys forward. I have my control group 3 here to block any infantry, but yeah, I mean, this is, this is, the, this is the resource arc in this game, where you start out and there's this burst, and then totally gone. On hold. Cancel. Yeah, you can't spam click or they will lock up. Unit lost. Oh, God, great. Oh my Jesus Christ. Building. I mean, Grenadiers are just the best unit. unit. They're Ready. cheaper than the flamethrower guys. They have long range. Maybe three is actually the magic number. Bastard. See, look at how just variant these outcomes are. So I'm gonna get two of these, and then I'm actually gonna begin to make my way forward to try to take out one of these tanks. Unit ready. Building. Insufficient funds. Actually, you know what? Unit ready. I, I don't think I even need... I think I don't even need that many flamethrower guys. I think I should keep them in two different groups. Alright, so there, there's no high ground, low ground nonsense here. You just shoot stuff. And these guys will definitely win this fight. If I make this control group five. Alright, so I have five rocketeers now. Alright. This is it. This is this is really big. Alright. Come here. Holy shit, fuck. Oh my god. There's more than I thought. Please die. Please, please shoot them! Oh my god! Yeah, I think I needed to just turtle a little more. Yeah, this is probably not going to be a W, you know? Insufficient funds. Well, this little asshole's going to unload engineers. On hold. I mean, it, it really, it genuinely hurts. 
structure sold. Building. Morning. Permitting out. Just moving out. Permitive. Unit ready. We really need these two. Our base Good. is under attack. Yes, Building. Unit no, ready. Building. Okay, let's see if they just glitch and go back like these guys did. Unit ready. Morning. Coming out. Permitive. Dollar. What are you doing? Just shoot it. You have to be that close. You have you have range. All everyone here is just to it's horrible. I don't even understand. Infantry are the worst units in this game. I I'm not going to give up. I don't want to We're gonna take a break. We're gonna take a break, because I need to use a restroom. It's gonna be a slightly longer break, because as you can tell, the agony is tearing me apart, Lisa. When we return, we beat this mission. This is gonna be an easy win. Easy, no problem. <laughs>